Amen. Hallelujah. Shall we praise the Lord? God is good. God is good. And all the time, God is good. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A little walk. A little talk. Yes. Hallelujah. which I must tone down and try to compose myself that the word of God can come and do that which it is set out to do. Amen? But I understand that the Israelites on the way to Canaan met some obstacles on the earth. The man of God sent out 12 spies to spy the land. <coughs> now after spying the land, the report that came back from 10 wasn't good. We live in a democratic society 
where the majority rules. But when it comes to God's work, all democrat democracy must decrease and let the spirit of God increase. And two came back with a good reason. I want to present my elder bishop who laid hands on me. A privilege to have him also with me. He is going to give an exhortation. Not a name, but in Jesus Almighty. I pray God that you will give him your full attention. Hallelujah. To the church I present Bishop Terence Ash. Not the name, but in Jesus Almighty. <laughs> and the truth. I will say it as I heard um, someone else says, a pleasant good afternoon to the remainder of you. Pleasant good day. Because everyone has not been called and has followed according to God's will. Many are called, the Bible has said, not me, but only chosen a few. The Bible speaks about two on the housetop, one taken and one left. Two in the field, one taken and one left. My question today, who are you? Where do you stand? I want to glorify the almighty God for a day on to this. Anniversary. I learned that many churches open and many churches close. But unless God has planned, hmm, you cannot flourish. It's impossible. If God is not in the business, it's impossible. We spin it top in mud. But I want to glorify the almighty God. I want to make a confession too. I don't really watch much Facebook. But I glorify the almighty God that every time I hear somebody talk about Facebook, they talk about Pastor Douglas. I want to glorify the almighty God. Because when I look around today, it is love that has brought us here. It is love that causes you to stay here today. And it's according to the anointing you're going to receive a blessing from God. Because I remember when Mary went to see her cousin, Aunt Elizabeth, before she reached, something happened. 
A connection was made. That is the connection you and I must have with God today. We don't want to be praying and praying and praying and not getting an answer. Vain is the help of man. But today we glorify the almighty God. You know when I was thinking about anniversary. Well first of all I, I, I didn't hear the declaration of how many year anniversary it is. 24. 24. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. 3 times 12. Father, Son and Holy Ghost. We must glorify the almighty God for our days unto this. Yeah. Because like I said, many churches open and many close. Yeah. But today we glorify the almighty God. Yeah. But you see, when you have a vision and God has given you an anointing, no man can stop you. Yeah. The Bible has declared, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Yeah. Why fear ye? Walk boldly according to your anointing. Yeah. This will I do, my dying Lord. I must remember thee. There is a way that seemeth right unto man. But the end is sudden death and destruction. We didn't come to play church. This is serious business. Woe unto them that put their hands to the plow and try to pull it back. Don't make no promises to God that you cannot keep. Sad shall be a portion. When I was thinking about anniversary, I, think, I was thinking about men of God. Those are saints of God who have been chosen to do God's work. And I always, it, it always runs my back, mind back to Noah. Noah was given a vision. He was given a directive to build an ark. And I said to myself many a times, you know, those that stood around surely thought this was a madman to build a ship or boat in the middle of the desert where there is no water. But the Bible tells us time and season. Time and season. There was a time when time came. The Bible tell, tells me when the water started to fall, they were glad to see water, but when it started to continue, they realized, you know, there is a boat, there is a ship where we, where we shall be saved. My God, my God. Many of us, when we run into problems, we know there is a Savior, we know where to go to God. Yes. But we have to be continuous in prayer. God is not a sometime business. Many a times we see, like a day of unto this, Thanksgiving anniversary, the church is full. Next week, it might be just a couple. Many of us come out for occasion, occasionally, when it, when it suits our fancy. But I pray God today, God is not a sometime God, He's an all time God. He never fails. Though when we are asleep, He's still. Working his business. Visioner. What has God anointed you? What has, what, what has God sent you out to do? Many have gone on the mona ground. And many come out this, that and the other. But where are the works? Scripture declared unto us what Jesus said. Greater works than these we shall do. But yet when I look around, I see many of us sitting down. We wearing fancy clothes. We looking nice. But where is the work? Where is the work? Sometimes we, 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 we try to run too fast. The Bible tells us what step by step and precept after precept. This is the only way we'll be able to achieve the things that God has in store for us. Sometimes we run by so fast we, we miss our blessing. Because we're not waiting. Sometimes when we go to the morning ground and we get a little gift and we come back, we say, okay, I have it all. I don't need that now. I don't need that now. Too many times, too many times. The Bible tells us that the church is a body that's fitly joined together. If you don't hold your post, we're going to walk left, 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 left side in. But if we stand strong, according to the anointing that God has given unto us, and I say anointing, yeah? Because many of us have a desire. In the Old Testament, they call it zealousness. We're too zealous to, you know, we're we too run into things. The Bible tells us, or we say to, uh, to ourselves, you know, I, I am willing to die for Jesus. I am willing to die for God. But how many of you are willing to live for Him? It 
it's okay to die for God, but how many of you are willing to live for Him? Living a godly life, living a holy life, living an anointed life, that when men see you, they will be able to glorify the Father which is in heaven. It is not about us. You see, Pointer Douglas, he has been given a charge, and if he doesn't do as God tells him to do, he will not receive his blessing. But when I look around, I see a man of works, I see a man of virtue. Because when I look around, I see so many wonderful faces. So many willing, you know, to, to, to do their part, to help him, to prop him. Because when we prop one another, we too will be strengthened. So think it that strange when you fall into diverse temptation. Because the Bible tells us what? It brings forth faith. It brings forth patience. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. And he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say on the Lord. I, I, I don't want to stay too long, but I just want to glorify the almighty God. Uh, can you please stand with me for a moment? Glory to God. I, before I sit down, you know, I, I, I just, you know, my spirit kind of, not troubled, but, you know, it's kind of antsy. Concerning a, a, a man who, you know, I, I just met today. You know that something about him, you know, his, his spirit is light. You know, he, I can't explain it. But I just want us, you know, to offer prayers. Just stretch your hands. In the direction of the door right there. The gentleman right there in the... Yeah, don't duck. Don't hide. The man of God. Because his declaration to me was, you know, my family was in this faith. And I asked him, where, where is he? But I pray God today that God would bless and keep you. Yes. Wherever you are today, I pray God he will anoint you yes. and he will grant you the, the, the direction and the, yes. the, the, the way that you will be able to walk according to his will and his will only. This is the prayer of my heart. In no other name but in Jesus' almighty name. I don't even know his name. I, first time meeting him. Get in the calling. Get in the I know. Get in the calling. I, I felt it. Because when I ask him, he kind of just bowed so and it's like, he, he come in. He's in the valley of decision. But you see, we here, the Bible tells us prayer avail it much. And if we cease to pray, we cease to fight. I remember when Paul was locked up in prison. The people gathered themselves together. And they heard a knock on the door when they not see it was Paul. They were stunned. Because we don't realize how powerful the, the word of prayer is. So I pray God today. That we earnestly pray for our brothers and sisters, those who are in the valley of decision. Yes. Because I believe that when they come, they will be a great asset yes. to the church. Yes. This is the prayer of my heart. Yes. In the name of Jesus, Almighty name. Yes. Um, what, what is your name? Mikkel. Huh? Mikkel. Brother Mikkel. In the name of Jesus, Almighty name. Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? Praise Give God praise. Give God honor. Give Him thanks. That the saints of God can come for 22 year anniversary. 24 years anniversary. Still going through. And still going strong. Some have been to the mountain tops. Some have been to the valley deep. And never made it this far. But with prayer and humility. And walking according to the will of God. God will take you through. Until he calls you from works. To reward. To the ministers of the altar. The bishop. The archbishop. 
May God richly bless you. Keep you. May he strengthen your life. That you'll be able to walk circumspect in the way that God wants you. To the warrior pointer here. The young one that comes. Joel. I pray that, that you will stay close to your daddy. So you could be like Elijah. And Elijah. Huh? Yes. He said, I want that what you have. He said, I will give it to you if you see when I go. In the walking, he wanted to test him. So he tell him to stay right here. I'm going over there until he said no. I'm going with you. I want you to go. Every way he go. In crossing, because you're not learning. Them. In crossing the Jordan, an operation took place. And on the other side, he was caught up. And now was he turned to come back. An operation. You cannot work in somebody else's operation. God had to give you the insight to work in the new operation. And God allow him to cross back to joy. A theme for today is walking in faith and not by sight. I choose to choose a scripture from the epistle of the second epistle of Corinthians chapter 5 verses 7 for we 2nd Corinthians chapter 5 verses 7 for we walk by faith and not by sight what a scripture verse which we all know in the palm and the back of our Paul writing to the church in Corinth recognized that the people had a love for God or gods but when he went in he saw many gods but there was one place that was empty that said to the God unknown and Paul recognized that the people had an understanding there was a God who is higher than the God I took it liberty to find out the meaning of the word walk. The Bible, the, the dictionary tell me that it's a verb. And to walk means to advance at a reasonable pace. Some of us don't want to walk. We want to run. Some of us don't want to wait. We want to rush. Some of us don't want to wait on God to speak to us. So we lie and say the Holy Spirit says. Not knowing that the Bible tells us. That is one sin. You are not going to be forgiven for because you're blaspheme of the Holy Ghost. Some of us been to the Lord room and we get a little position for an appointed time. But you can't wait on the time. So you make up your own story and tell the pointer 
The spirit tell me I got to open my prayer room now down the road. Nobody want to walk anymore. They just want to run. Hello? Then when you find yourself in a calamity, you want to run back to the pointer. And expect the pointer to take you out of your situation. But because of his loving heart and the tender mercies of God that he has, he does help you. God does leave people up to a reprobate mind. Because after he talked to you and talked to you, you still want to run and don't want to walk. So we go down on the ground and we get the fancies and the dances from Vanity City. Because before you went on the lower ground, you had your mindset on what you want to wear, on what you want to do, and how you want to come up. Because you don't want to walk, you want to run. Then the pointer come to take track. Yes, ma'am. Yes, because you hear a track that a mother or a sister gave long time ago. You went to Market Square, pick it up, and bring it for the pointer. Huh? Amen. You're not lying to the point of saints of God. Amen. You're lying Amen. on the spirit of God. Amen. Once upon a time, I love to say this. I was a Nazarene. Salon decorum. Salon protocol. I learned to study the word of God. So when I was called in the faith, all I had to do is wait on the spirit keyword wait. Of God. And in me waiting, be a good courage. Because my heart wanted to be straight. At times I find myself walking a little fast. And some old people say, Take your time, son. Take your time. One day you're gonna reach. So I have to slow down the pace. Yes, let's go. The faith today, we need to slow down the pace. Because we're talking about walking. Walk with integrity. Walk above reproach. So when you walk like the elder pointer, they will say, There goes a good man of God. Because he recognized, according to the songwriter, a charge to keep. Aha. And a God to glorify. I never die in soul to save. One day. Fill it for this guy. We walk at skipping to sight. Dictionary tells me that sight is seeing something that is afar. Or near. A lot of people here could see, and yet they're blind. Let me say it again. Because I could see for you, and I could see for you. And he lie down in my bed And I hear a voice 
Tell me to tell you. And your sin is worse than the person who you're telling the spirit sin. Hallelujah. 24 years is not 24 days. And it takes time for the pointer to develop his, his sight. So that when he tell you the spirit say, he come in with authority to tell you the spirit say. Some people have go and tell people the spirit say. Because they want your pocket. <laughs> and then the real man who could see. I learned something from the pointer the other day. You know? I promise you. He bring the script here. Because it's real. When we done. All that we have. Like the woman with the history of blood. Yeah. That is the time we don't get sense. Yeah. To run to the man of God. Yeah. To help me. Yeah. You didn't think if you only had it. And you bring it to the man of God. When you have a problem. The man of God with a deep behind in the pocket. To help you. Yes. Yes. But we want to walk by sight. Yeah. I reach your faith at you. We walk in because if I insist, I can't make it. Sight is saying, if it's not there, I'm not going. So we get scared. You come to church, you see something about the sister. Instead of tell her in love, you come go stand beside because you have too much aside. I walk in, I'm not running. Beside, if you trust in God. Hallelujah. Yes, you will learn Hebrews 11 1. Yes, huh? I like to be accurate. Yes, no. Faith is the substance of things. And the evidence of things. Now I could say, I walk by faith and not by sight. If you take your time to walk and you walk in faith, you will start to gather substance. It is like putting rice to boil with water because rice cannot cook without a substance you cannot make stewed chicken without a sauce to go on the rice the food will be too dry and you're going to choke so the scripture say if I walk in by faith it means I need to walk after the spirit and not before the spirit it means I need to step back talk to God and ask God to talk back to me and when I talk and I say Lord you're sure because the Bible say prove all things and then hold fast to that which is good so after God tell me to do it I still get to prove it what are they doing like you probably know that? Moses was down in the bottom of the hill. Saw the burning bushes up top the hill. Climb up the mountain. Hear the bush talking. 
and say who that God say it is me the Lord thy God he said who he said take up listen God had to prove himself to Moses show down your rod Moses when he saw the rod turn into stay he said let me tell you push your hand in your bosom when he took it out he that he pushed it again prove God we need to prove God So if you say the spirit tell you and you come to the church it is the job of the leader of the church to prove what you're saying and if he tell you go back again then you need to go back again let me tell you how vision works if i may bible tell me that peter was on the house stop um, and he said he went in a kind of trance and God spoke to him and said Peter I want you to now go to a house a man called Cornelius God had a work for him while God was talking to Peter he was talking to Cornelius and there will be a man coming that is vision. Each vision must have a confirmation. Yes. So I walk in by faith. Yes. Not by sight. Because I don't like how the color the church look. I bring a vision to the leader. I say, leader, me and you was here. And all in a sudden I just get a paint brush and the color of the rainbow. Just paint the church in this color, or the Mona room in that color. And here you say, Lila, I think we have to change the church. You know? And we have to do it before such and such. Who is you of that place? You telling me that God leave the leader who walk in circumspect, who walk in upright, who walk in by faith, who not walk in by sight, who have a direct communication with the God. If you tell me that when you come, the leader say, Well, boy, I had a vision, you know. Then he said, That's a confirmation. Then we can walk. But you can't tell the leader time and date. You're out of place. We're walking by faith. Faith is the substance of things. I hope in. So when I have faith, I start to hope now. I hope to be a good child of God. I hope to be a child that follow the word of God. I hope to be a child that when this listen, the book of Hebrews said, it is better for the leader to go to God with a peaceful mind than to go with a haughty heart on your behalf. Because when you hear the leader go down and he said, Lord, in this thy mercy days, remember now those worthless children I have. Because some of us worthless. Some of us wayward. And we, you know, Monday to Saturday, we're doing we own thing. We're shocking up. We're doing all kind of things. Jumping through window. Going in other people's door. Huh? And then Sunday you're catching more Holy Spirit than the leader. You can't walk by faith like that. Walking by faith is saying, Lord, you promised the Holy Spirit to comfort me. That when your back is against the wall and it seems like there is no way out. I could call on him and I have faith and I hold assurance I hold assurance that when I call he go hear and he go answer me the evidence of thing not seen take your time Jesus said I go to prepare a place but where I am, there you may be. Eh? It means that now I'm walking in faith. I have a hope that one day 
I'm maybe with Jesus. Hello? Hello? Why? Because I have this substance, which is the word of God, and the evidence, which is the Holy Spirit, that will guide me into all truth, not some truth. Saints of God, I plan to say so much today. But I wanted was to talk nice. I don't want to read nobody today. Because I want all of us to take with time in walking. If you know you is a runner, stop running. Rolling stone gathers no more. If you know you is a runner, stop lying. And the Holy Spirit. And take your time. And if you love the dear pointer and you're in the boat, we go rock together. Unity, togetherness, humility. Give us our, our dirty, wretched sin yes. that we have committed. Yes. Hello, somebody. Yes. Because why? Yes. Nothing but the blood of Jesus yes. can wash away yes. our sin. Yes. I don't care how much bath you take. Yes. Huh? Yes. I don't care how much bath you get. Yes. If you don't apply the blood of Jesus, yes. the same way you take the bath. Say we are going. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory God. This church remind me of the cocoa. You see in Trinidad, the old days. Cattle image. We used to go in the cocoa to moon. So we had two church. Cheers. One in the city, 
when it's time it came to talk to God, to walk by faith and not by sight, and not to listen to what Tom or John Public have to say. That's why the Bible says, when you're going in the inner chamber, go in secret. It's not everybody you're supposed to tell that you're going inside the death. But God wants to have a talk. God wants to have a walk. Just with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, man. Because some of us have itchiness. We can't wait to hear. As soon as we hear, we go on in there. And you can't even leave them on a room. Huh? You ain't leave them on a room enough. Where's the point of time? The people who come to pop you a labor with you. And then you're still coming out your line. That didn't go work. That didn't go work. Let us stop have that form of godliness. God. Let us say, Lord, from this day I will walk in faith. Yes. I want to take my time and advance slowly. Yes. Huh? Because listen, it is from. I hope you all have the same system like Trinidad. I have a good Trinidad. It is from. Forget the American here, why? Yeah, um, it is from. Kindergarten, right? Yes. 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 From yes. kindergarten to primary school, yes. from primary school secondary. to secondary yes. school, yeah. and then from secondary school you take a you take a little no we will fishery right and then you go you do your exam and you come up with a subject and if by chance you want to further it you go you do a little advance and if by chance that's not sufficient enough you go to university and listen if by chance that is not good for you you go you do a master and if by chance that is not good for you you go you do a doctorate it's the same time if you is the cook be the best cook. If they tell you come and clean the church, be the best church cleaner you could ever be. And I think that the best work in the church. Because when you're cleaning, you start to talk to God. And it's you and God alone. And you start to get a little faith. You said I get a little encouraged, Lord, the children are doing good. Lord, they are fed up with the boy who's smoking all this weed. Lord, turn your life around. Yes. Hello, Jesus, look here, Lord. These men pick me, they are going on the wrong road. And you're talking to God. So that when you lay down in your bed, God could reveal his things to you. Walk by faith, saints of God. Not by sight. I want you to be like the centurion. The centurion met Jesus on the way. Because the servant come and tell him, my master have need of you. Because one of his servants, servants sick. And Jesus said, come let me go to your house. And you know what the man said? He said, you can't come to my house. Not in a disrespectful way, you know. He said, I am a man who has men, men under me. He didn't go look too good. And Jesus said, I have never met someone with such a faith. How is your faith measured today, saints of God? The Bible tells us that small as a mustard seed but if you plant the seed and ask the Holy Spirit hello and when the Holy Spirit kill the seed And you plant and you preacher because if the Holy Spirit in me 
It makes way for the God in me to grow. So I could walk above reproach. Slowly. And when the seed be coming to a tree, the word of God said, by the fruits, you shall know them. What kind of fruit you're bearing? Be walking by faith and not by sight. Is your fruit good enough for someone to partake of? What kind of fruit? I love mangoes. But all mangoes are good for you. If it half ripe. You ever eat a half ripe mango and it blister your mouth? But take time to mature. Take time to go down to the potter's house and allow God to remold you. To put you on the spindle and say, Lord, I've done air in thy sight. I ask so oh God, forgive me for talking bad about the pointer. Help me not to be a hypocrite no more. Help me to be obedient to me elders. Because what they tell me is truth. But I didn't want the sister next door to me to annoy it was truth to her stoops. Some of us, when the word comes for us, we say, I hope you get that to know. But it's for you. We're quick to shift the plate. But we love to eat the food. Walking by faith is not an easy thing. It must grow. The God in me must nurture the new plant. The God in me must start to fashion me. That if I belong to sin better, I must start to walk like Pointer Douglas. I must start to talk like Pointer Douglas. I must gain some attributes from Pointer Douglas. That when they see you, they must say, that's a Douglas child. <laughs> I must run this race that is set out before me with patience. Be quick for nothing. Say like this psalmist David, I will lift my eyes from when come my help. And then we could wear the nice clothes. Because nice clothes must get dirty. Just like old clothes. I have wear, I have worn a white tunic and a white pants for many years. I left Trinidad to America wearing white pants and a white tunic. Because in the days of old when you start to wear colors it represented something. Unless the church have an anniversary 
and you put on a uniform. Yes. Today I cannot tell the difference yes. between mothers yes. and sisters. Yes. But I know this house have discipline. Yes. To St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Yes. All churches leaders here today. I do not know your church. But I know this man church. And if everybody church is like this man church. St. Vincent will be a country to be reckoned. Let me reiterate what the preacher said two years ago. Because if I don't say it, then I become biased. I only speak in America like this. You cannot sleep with a man and want to point people. There is a thing called the transferring of spirit. And the same spirit now that is in them. Because they have placed their hand on your center lobe. It is now traveling. So now. And they won't go now and bring back a lesion. Ah. Hello? And if you women doing the same thing, when you want to go in the morning room and see everything,
There is nothing sweeter than Jesus. Fornication is not sweet. Adultery is not sweet. Because when you're done, all sweetness gone. But Jesus' sweetness never leaves us. Jesus' sweetness keeps running over and over. As I conclude, in order to walk in faith, my mind and my heart must be in the same way. In order to walk in faith, I must put all envious, backbiting, strife, 
Amen. But um, I just want to say that um, the Lord has allowed me to thank God for the opportunity that the Lord has allowed me to come to give you a word of faith. But I know must decrease. So the, the church, could you stand one more? Please. Amen. I want to present. Come on. I don't know if you all agree here, but every courthouse you go to, yes, and the unjust judge presiding over that, yes. and the bailiff say, "All right." Yes. When you sit down, you will get a case. Matters for the most holy. Amen. Yes, Amen. Lord. Let me bring a habit given by man. Teacher Marva, yes, given by the Spirit of God. God sent me son.
wrong for the first time. Yes. I must make a basin to do it. Amen. Praise God. Yes. I cannot come in this land and not make a basin to I don't know what is going to happen to my Lord. But if I should die, I want to make sure that I plant this seed. Oh, yes. oh, my God. I pray that God is there to shine upon you and grant you peace. Oh, my Lord. Are you not watching so hard? <laughs> Best part for me, I get to sit down and hear other people. Yeah. Prison, yeah. I want to leave with a note that could help me grow Amen. and give me strength. Oh, yes. Amen. I want to um, point out of us. I want to thank you for having us here. Yes, Lord. I pray God continue to richly endow on you with His Holy Spirit, that you will continue to do the work that is set upon you to do. You give me a light and a glass. Amen. I want to give you back flowers. Yes, brother. You give me life and water. I want to give you back wisdom from God. Man can do everything. Yes. Except breathe the bread. I could try to make this flowers, but without God's life in it, nothing is going to happen. Praise the Lord. Let me talk to you on a term that you would understand. As an agriculturist, we learn about infusion and we learn about budding. I know that you are the real thing. You are not grafted. You have been planted as a seed by the rivers of water. And you have grown up. And I want you to stay fresh and green. Not a name, but in Jesus Christ. Praise God. This afternoon, we have a lot of chocolate. Praise God. Praise God. But before we start to go locally in the churches, remember when you get the opportunity, it's greeting because the amount of people from different congregations just bring greetings from the congregation. Before we start locally, I will let Mr. Bonus give us a word. Praise the Lord.
is on you and you lean. You could hear him speaking your ears. Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. You have to take on the wax of your ear. Because you're leaning on the breast. Because you want to hear him speak to you. So if you want to hear him say to you, fear not. Clean out your ear. Then teacher you will hear him say, Fear not. I will. Pilot me. We praise God. Let me tell you something. The Bible says that God is going to judge this church righteously. Put it in your pipe. Righteously. Bless God. Death and hell gonna burn in fire. No? Yeah. Death and why death teach about the body? Wages of sin. Yeah. The power of sin. The wages of sin. Yeah. Your payment for sin is death. And my Bible tell me death and hell gonna burn. Yes. Oh, yes. oh my God. We make a joke now. <laughs> Hallelujah. 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 We love to shout it and I love it back. But the Bible tells anybody the exercise profit with lunch. Yes. 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 At adoption, take it and put it in the charger yes. and went with it. Hallelujah! Yes. So, the time we just have to stop. Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah! Let the word of God go yes. through the house. Yes. Hallelujah! Yes. Let me tell you nothing if you could bear 99 times, you could take how much bath you want, you could say that perfume that I bring here in this church is original. Eyes are converted and not Amen. 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 Hallelujah. When you bear you the sweet of yourself. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And Baptist taught me that he is a sweet smelling savior. Yes. But when I bring perfume in the church. Oh, yes. <laughs> Look at the people they want to be. To be taught. Well, let them put them on again when they come to church. Yeah. Don't stop on them. Don't spread them on them. Yes, God. Yes. 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 Because that's bad. Yeah. Talk to me, church. Yeah. 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 Let's too much a thing on the uh-huh. yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. God is going to judge it. Let me tell you something. Yeah. The unrighteous man going in hell, you know? yeah. yes. Put it in your pride. Yes. 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 He got to prepare a place for only the righteous. Yes. Like yes. 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 Do all the work yes. and feel like getting in. Yes. As I teach the children to walk, watch now, to walk on gold with dirty foot. No, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? By faith, I'm in the By your own land, oh. By your own land.
a teacher. I don't rub on me, take a rub on. My God. Don't jump on me! Take a come off. Call me. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 So we're celebrating yes. 24 years. Yes. And I think that Sam says that earth is the Lord. Yes. 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 Yes.
So when somebody stands here as a miracle of God and they say, Praise the Lord, you've got to be in obedience. I want to say this before I, I, I sit down. I want to say this to all my brothers and sisters in the Lord. This is 2020. This is trying to be a mountain mover. Yes. The Bible says, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to the mountain, I'm going to the sea. We yes. say each of you. Not the mountain of the no. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever mountain. That's right. Whatever sea is blocking you from crossing over. Yes. To serve God in the right way. <laughs> Move it away yes. with the help of God. Amen. You cannot do it by yourself. No, no, no. You have to do it by faith. Yes. Believe that God will do it. Yes. And then you're going to act as yes. I'm going to leave this to him with you and I'm going to leave. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. I'll tell you how God is good. Hallelujah. He can move. Yes. Oh, yes. Anything. Anything. Oh, yes.